Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist at the Tech Travel Geeks, and this is the Tech Travel Geeks review of the game 3, which is available on iOS, Android, and from the Amazon App Store. If you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks on YouTube. Right then, I've already installed 3s, in this case from the Google Play Store, and I have reached the home screen. And what I'm going to do is walk you through the tutorial for threes. So the premise of the game is that you put together add ends or multiples of the number three by sliding up and down on the screen. So in this case, I've got a two and a one. I'm going to get to the wall of the panel, slide up, and I have a three. And then if you slide along, you'll get another three. So if you slide that into the six, you have a six. And that's essentially how the game goes on. So we've got six, 12, and now we've got a series of ones. So I'm going to put a one into a two and get a three and so forth. And potentially this could go on to infinity, but it, it gets progressively more difficult as you build up numbers and need to keep in mind the space left on the screen you have. The One of the highlights of the game is not just the easy, simple gameplay, but also the sound. As you can see, there's some really cool music in the background. Uh, the dynamics of the game are highlighted by the fact that threes actually have personalities, and the numbers have not only names, but actually little voices that pop up when you form them. See? It says, oh hey. And now you, I'm going to put together two 24s there, and you'll hear a new voice. So Torbus is the name of this new number 48. Born an aristocrat, his thirst for knowledge never surfaced. Loves swimming pools. And so I'm going to carry on playing as I usually do. The combination of the music, the voices, and just how easy it is to pick up and put down is fantastic. This is the sort of game that you can be playing in the queue whilst waiting for your plane to board, and then pick it up as you get on a flight. This is the play paid version I'm playing. This is the standard version of 3s. It does not require an internet connection to play, and you won't be bothered by ads. So if you want to support the devs of this game, uh, you can purchase the app in the App Store on iOS, on the Google Play Store, or on the Amazon App Store. There is also a free ad-supported version as well, but I've purchased it on multiple platforms multiple times. It is one of those really enjoyable games that I like. You see we've got a new character here, 3J. And I'm going to just carry on going to see where I go. And so I really, really enjoy this game. I've mentioned that. One of the other things is you obviously have some pretty granular controls for audio as well as the screen itself. So what I'm going to do is keep on going a little and then go and show you the settings for the game so you can see what sort of controls you have over the content. Obviously, if you're going to be maybe listening to an audiobook or listening to a podcast whilst playing this game on your phone, you might want the sounds to be muted so that you can concentrate on what you're listening to at the time. I sometimes do do that. So in this case, I'm going to carry on playing until the option comes up. There we go. So I have options here so I can see my last ending, which was 60,000 points. But you'll see here we have controls for music that can go on and off. Sound effects, that's the swipes and the, the voices of the characters. And you can switch to a dark mode called night colors, which is maybe easier on the eye if you're maybe playing at night. Other options you can do is go to a battery saver mode. It will make the game slightly less power hungry. And you can start with a boost, but that's essentially cheating. And auto-sign scores is when you finish the game, 
uh, you can uh, decide to uh, sign your name in the leaderboard. There is also a link to the merchandise store. You can buy t-shirts, plushies uh, of threes. It's got quite the culture behind it. And then once you're done, uh, you can go back to your game where you were and carry on. So this is me in dark mode, carrying on silent mode, as I would, for example, if I'm listening to an audiobook in the Audible app. Threes is now a six-year-old game. It's not a very intense game for today's smartphones. It quite happily runs on the Nokia 1.3. If you haven't already, you can see the video to that uh, unboxing, and there are a series of videos about the Nokia 1.3 on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. Now, as you see, I've run out of moves. It will add together all the numbers of three and its multiples and give you a score. And then you can see your stats. So this is a relatively low score for me, 3,500. Previously, it was 60,000 points, uh, 27,000 and so on. So that's threes, one of my favorite games. And as I said, there's free and paid versions. If you'd like to, you can try out the free version, but I do recommend the offline, fully supported offline version, especially if you're going to be using it whilst traveling by rail, where you don't have uh, connectivity options, and by uh, plane, where obviously you won't have uh, network connectivity. So there we go. That's Threes, one of my favorite games. If you would like to know more, or if you'd like me to maybe record a longer form version of me playing threes for, say, maybe hours at a time, please do let me know, and I will do my best to oblige. Leave us a, a comment if you'd like to get back to us and give us feedback. If you like this video, drop us a like, and if you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. For now, thanks for watching and goodbye.